we've had the scare over um, this equine influenza. What's what's it stopped you doing? Or you've had a normal morning though. Uh, we've had a fairly normal morning. Um, obviously, it's really been about reinforcing to all the staff um, measures that they need to take. Um, we'd be fairly um, vigilant anyway about biosecurity, and we'd have quite a lot of measures in place just just for a normal course of action, uh, just to minimise disease within the, the horses on the yard. Um, in any case, so it's just making sure that everyone's following all the practices that they should be following. And, and um, the main thing really was just to sit down with each member of staff and, and go through with them um, the details of it and particularly those staff. So we've got, you know, a couple of staff, one who has a horse, uh, an ex-race horse that he does a bit of retraining with and things. And just, just to point out to him that he needs to think about, you know, biosecurity and have, you know, washing between going that yard and this yard and, and, and doing that sort of thing. And um, one of the girls who rides out for us, um, she runs a, a livery yard and exactly the same thing and having a chat there and um, then also the, probably more more key in a way the, the people who are really going between yards are farriers, vets um, obviously the vets are very on it you know, that's their day job and, and we had a good chat with the vet as well just about extra things to think about um, and the farrier um, he does us and one other big yard in Lambourne um, and again it's just working out you know he said basically I've got two sets of gear and I'll use one set for yours and one set for, for theirs and you know if I do anything else I'll disinfect between them. So and you, I know you've had your hair cut recently but are you tearing your hair out over this or how big a crisis or issue will it be? <laughs> um, I don't think, you know, it, potentially it's, it's huge. Um, at the moment I don't think you want to panic too much. I think as a racehorse trainer you get used to lots of different bits and pieces going wrong and you know you, you're constantly dealing with potential threats and issues so you know it's something we definitely monitor very carefully um, we won't lose too much sleep over it now we'll just wait to see how things develop um, obviously the big concern in racing there's quite a lot of measures in place to make sure that we have a well vaccinated and well protected herd and you know there'll be a lot of investigation going on to work out okay well some of these horses that have been vaccinated are coming up positive and it might be something like there was a batch of vaccine that wasn't right and when they start putting all the cases together they see that or, and then they'll be able to take measures based on that or, or who knows and the real concern is obviously it's in the wider equine population and their movements and things like that. I think in racing we're pretty good at you know, responding to, to situations and, and you know, as much criticism as the BHA gets for certain things I think they've been pretty good on this front and they've acted very promptly and you know, they'll be taking you know, the best measures they can.